find out here. Okay, well, um, I'm going to try her expired driver's license, even though it's, it is expired. Don't think it's going to matter, because it was the same, it was the same driver's license as we used last year that got her through, so we're going to try it. If it says, if it pops up as expires, then it'll pop up as expired. Driver's license number. No, we'll just have to wait around the next next one. Okay. That's what we needed. <laughs> See what it does. Expiration date was See if uh, it flags it for expiration. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, nope, wrong one. <laughs> wrong one. Okay. I knew it was going to be. There it is. Oh, it just expired. It just expired, oh, just 10, 8 days ago, so maybe it'll take it. Okay. So we were going, we were waiting for, she went down and got it renewed. She was going to get an enhanced one, but she had her, um, she had a social security card, of course, the driver's license is being renewed, and she ha she brought her bir uh, birth certificate from the hospital, and they say it was not a valid um, identification. Like, what are you talking about? How is it not a valid identification? Issued 725-2018. Expires 02-4-2009. How is that? Using eight, an eight-year license. All right, anyway. Okay, here we go. Exp expiration date. Issue date. Let's see what it does. Look back saying it's expired. Okay, sign the remaining agreements. Let's go. It took it. Okay. Don't worry about it. Print agreements. And then I already agree. Okay, thank you for confirming your personal information because so you've made our banking partners need your res residency information. This is correct. Uh, yes. We're both U.S. citizens. <laughs> okay. Thanks. 
here. Let's see. Um, two, ten, two thousand, nineteen. Down one. Two, ten, two thousand, nineteen. Two thousand, Yes, we agree. <sighs> okay, here's a confirmation. Alright. Federal Turbo Tax $89.99. Turbo Tax State $139.99. Max Defender and Restore $59.99. Optional pay with your refund. $39. Okay, and total fees, $229. And you know, it costs $300. You need, you need, they need to charge you $300 a year for you to write that off. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there we go. They're charging us $229.96. I don't know what it would cost you to go to a tax have H&R Block or uh, let's see how the one down there. There's a couple of different tax uh, tax preparers down there. Okay. Select the return. information is correct, go to my what about that? Okay, here we go. Okay. Okay, and these are the these are the signatures. The five digit signature IDs. Um and these are the ones I'm gonna leave alone. I didn't get a chance to. Okay. This one over here didn't get it today's date. I don't know if I had that problem before or not. Because it really doesn't matter because they're both going. I want to tax. Yes, please tax it to me. Okay, once you tra transmit your return, you can't cancel it. Dropping it in the mailbox. Here we go. See what it does. And of course, it tells you right above there. Under penalty of perjury, I declare that I have been able to return, including any complimentary. Statements, schedules, best of my knowledge, I believe is true, correct, and allow service provider to transmit the return. Okay, here we go. See what happens. There they go. Putting them in the mailbox. Transmitting your returns. And you're going to get emails. Saying, well, the federal's been accepted and the state's been accepted. So, there they went at 9 11 p.m. You did it, Dana. 
You just emailed your taxes. All right. You filed on February 10, 2019 at 9-11. How likely are you to recommend TurboTax to a friend? Well, I do recommend it. <laughs> and to recommend it to all 1,800 subscribers. Because I use it every year, and I've been using it every year since... Hmm. Since 2011, maybe? Hmm. I don't know when my first one out. I'd have to check on that. back up to me <laughs> and I wasn't able to do that so we'll find out if I got any complications because it's going to come back um, state didn't take it or federal didn't take it or something of that nature so and I will follow up probably on the end of this video saying that they all went all right, so thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Definitely share, especially if you use TurboTax and have had any problems. And we will catch you on the next Dana Crosby's Vlogs. Hey, Dana here. And this is just a quick update on my tax return. I got a message yesterday at 10.03 and I filed that tax return at nine, around 9, 9 o'clock and it said that my uh, federal return had been accepted. So it was less than an hour even though there's, they were saying that within 12 to, or between 24 and 48 hours you're going to get notice as to whether it was received or not it was less than an hour and they accepted it and this is now the 11th next day and at 220 this afternoon I got confirmation that the state had accepted my state tax return so and that was less than 24 hours um, where I think last year took forever for, uh, and in fact, the state came back denied. So uh, everything's gone, gone through. So here we are, um, the 11th of February. My next update will be when the first one is, when the first uh, uh, return is is deposited in my account, just as a, a record of how fast it went through. So, there we go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, definitely share. And we'll catch you on the next Dana Crosby's Vlogs.